Welcome back to another Fast Food Toy Reviews video review. Today we're going to look at Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, sort of eight wonderful looking movie toys released by Burger King all the way back in 2008. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. The first one up is Boulder Escape Indiana Jones. That's right, Boulder Escape. So you can see Indy here. It looks like he is running for his life. And underneath you got three little wheels that roll on. Little opening right there, but we'll get to that in a second. So you got five total pieces in the set. And here is the boulder, which is actually just a plastic little hollow ball, a little soft, squishy little ball. And you got three other pieces here, which we need to put together. So you have this little base right here. And what you do, take one of these little pieces here, they line up. So you can see right here on the side, you got three little holes, and you got three little pegs. So you just kind of line them up like so. Let's see, make sure we got them on the right side. I think we got them like this. So let's do that. And then we'll place these on right here, like so. Line it up good. Kind of just easily slide into place. Then we take Indy here and we pop him on and he should lock right into place. There we go, look at that. And there's a little trigger right there. And then we take the ball and rest it on top. We got it. All right, so on the back, you can see this lever. We push this lever down and let's see what happens. You ready? <laughs> so it's a little cart and Indiana Jones takes off. So we'll do it one more time. Lock this in, just like that. Grab the ball, boulder. <laughs> and let me show you exactly what's happening when we do this one more time. See that little, little lever right there? That's all we're doing, we're just pushing it up. At the same time you're pushing the lever up, it is unlocking Indiana Jones down here with his little spring-loaded little cart, little wheelie cart thingy, <laughs> and that's it. So here we go, one more time, you ready? And boom, <laughs> awesome. Next is the Temple of Mystery. So you can see we have 13 little crystal skulls right here on this little Temple of Mystery and a lever right here. And a little platform that you can see is for this thing. It's a top, look at that. And this thing is really cool too. So underneath it kind of looks like stone engraving there. And on the front, a bunch of cool alien, ancient hieroglyphic designs of some kind, very cool. So basically all you do is you take the top and you rest it in this. See, we get it in there, there we go. And then right here in the front, there's a lever. Pull that over and lock it into place. There we go, now it's all locked in. Now you gotta guess and figure out which one of these skulls will unlock it. It's random every single time. So we got 13, so let's try the first one. We'll go all the way through. Four, five, six, seven, eight. It was the eighth one. <laughs> you can see it launches the top. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna do this, lock it into place. We're gonna do this one more time. We got it, okay. Which one, which number do you think it's going to be? I think it's going to be the fifth one. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, it was the third one. <laughs> and off it went. <laughs> this is great. So there you go. It's the Temple of Mystery. Now, this one looks awesome. This is the Stunt Jump Mine Cart. We have Indiana Jones hanging out in his little mine cart. Yes, so he's in a cart full of stone. He's trapped down in the caves with all the mine stuff. <laughs> I don't know. So we got five pieces all together. So you got two little tracks here, which we connect to this little piece of cardboard, which represents lava. And there are three extra little slots there. So you can actually adjust it, make it closer, and then move it further away. So we're gonna make it the furthest. And so all you do is you tab this in. There's little slots right there. So we tab this in. Let's see if we can get this lined up and tab it in. Come on, get in there. Do we get it? All right, good enough. And then this one over here, same thing. We tab this in. That's this little piece of cardboard. And we got it. Okay, so now we got this furthest it will go. Then you have the launching mechanism and on the back of the cart right there. You can see where this goes in and locks in like that. That's a little button right there. Then this little bit right here, this launching piece right here, you can see it's fitted to go on to the end of this little track right here, you see a little tab where it locks on? Let's see if we can do that. Let's get that locked on the place. We'll line up Indy. And, <laughs> here 
Here we go. Let's see. Now, let's see if he can launch from one track to the other. You ready? Here we go. Let's get this lined up just right. And here we go. Let's do it. Oh, it worked. <laughs> oh, everything comes apart, too. Look at everything comes apart. Oh, that's the greatness of these toys. What a wonderful set. Okay, so now we'll plug this back in. We'll lock this back on. Come on, get on there. Ah, oh, come on, get on there. <laughs> what is happening? Get on there. There we go. And we'll lock Indy's cart back on the launcher. Line that up with the track. And you ready? Here we go. And <laughs> he's safe. So Indiana Jones is safe from the lava pit. Next up, we have the Indiana Jones Journal. And this is like a light up special pen. It has like this infrared, infra blue little pen. You can see the little ballpoint there. Well, unfortunately, due to the age of the toy, it does not work anymore. At least I tried to get it to work and it didn't work. But you know what's really cool is on the side here, you have this little switch. We'll flip that on. And check this out. There's a button right here. That still works. Look at that. And it even has a little belt clip right there. And so here is the cool little journal. So we'll open this up and take a look at that. On the cover, you can see Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Kind of looks leathery. And it has a leathery feel to it. It's kind of neat. So we open it up. And inside, you can take notes. There's like a lion right there. So you can write little notes right there. And then we'll flip through here. And you can see other little scribblings and notes. Let's see, any other pages? Here we go. We got a little goblet there. And some more scribble writing and a blank page. And some more stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm knowing some mountains or something going on there. Very cool. Some pillars. So you can finish drawing the maps and all the different stuff. Wow, this is actually quite impressive. This is pretty neat. And so all you would do is you would write your secret hidden message and then flip the light on. And then you can see how kind of like my hand lights up. Let's show you on one of these papers here. You can see here how it kind of highlights it if you could get this to work. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm, I'm sure it was fun, but you know what? It's kind of cool regardless that the little pen in there doesn't work anyway. It's an awesome little collectible. It's neat to look at. And the fact that it still works is quite impressive. Let's turn it off. And that's it. So there you go. It's the Indiana Jones journal now this one is fun this one's kind of cool so this one's called the motor wheels mutt that's right motor wheels mutt and look at this cool looking motorcycle this is awesome so we all know who this is this is sam witwicky <laughs> we all know who that is oh good stuff so on the front you got the little wheel that rolls and on the back another wheel that rolls look at this the detail of this is impressive it's cool little leather jacket going on Yes, kind of, I don't know, oh man, it looks kind of creepy, but okay. So on the back here, you got this little hole and you have this rip cord, this zip rip thingy. So you put this in like this, see, see what's going on here? And then you give it a pull. And look at that, that's cool. Let's give it a try. <laughs> okay, you ready? Here we go. Now we let him go. Oh, <laughs> he smacked into the wall. I shot him that way because I didn't want him shooting off my table or anything. All right, one more time. Let's see. There we go. Much better. <laughs> ah, this is great. Oh, I love this little toy. This one's this one's a winner. I like this for sure. Next up is the Indiana Jones Hip Whip. This is one of the things he is famous for in all his movies is his cool little hip whip. <laughs> whip. <laughs> so let's flip it over there. You got a little belt clip. So that's where you would hang it. And part of the gimmick is this part right here, it's wrapped up paper. It doesn't really want to function all that well, and I think it's just due to the age of the toy, and it's set with this little cardboard wrap on there for all these years, and I think it's got it really tight, so it's not functioning properly. So I'll try to explain it the best I can. So there's a couple little targets right here. So we have a snake. Does anybody know what type of snake this would be? So we fold this up, so that's a target right there. You place that over there, and then we have this thingy. Get over here. And fold that. So now you got a couple little targets. That's obviously an ant. So we'll set that over here. And what you're supposed to do is take this and hold it like this and whip this like this. 
and I can get the idea. So what's supposed to happen, this is supposed to unfurl and pop out. See how I'm manually doing it? But I think it's just warped due to the age of the toy sitting so long. But what would happen would be, this would kind of like, it kind of wants to work. And then this would shoot out and knock over the little ants and creatures there. You can see what I'm doing here. And I'm trying to help it along and then this would go out and shoot like that, but it's just so tight and warped. It doesn't want to work all that great, but you get the idea. And that's it, so there you go. It's the Indiana Jones Hip Whip. <laughs> Next we have Indiana Jones Tricky Treasure. That's right, so we have this wooden crate and on the end it reads, Property of Indiana Jones, we'll spin it around. This end, the same thing, property of Indiana Jones. And what the gimmick is, is you pull it right here. See how you have this little lip that pops up? Give that a pull and watch this. You ready? Here we go. Ah! <laughs> That's it. Look at that. Oh, tricky treasure. So you, you would hand this to somebody and say, hey, can you open this for me? And then the little fire ant pops out of there. Look at that thing. That's not scary at all. I've seen gag and trick toys kind of like this. It's kind of funny. So let's kind of peek in there a little bit. And you can see what's going on. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this one's a win. I like this. So there you go. It's the Tricky Treasure. Now this one I think is pretty cool. It's very simple, but yet really, really cool. This one's called the Tomb Reveal, the Indiana Jones Tomb Reveal. So you can see Indy is sitting on top of a pyramid, I'm guessing, or some kind of tomb, right? On the back, you can see some steps that he climbed up. This is really nice. A clear bit right here and a bunch of little tiny mini pebbles or granular little orbs, orbies. And there is a look at Indy digging in there. And so here is the gimmick. You ready? We push down on Indy's head right here and watch this. You ready? That is awesome. And it reveals the crystal skull thingy. That's right. And then to reset this, all you do is you hold Indy down, keep him down, and then all the little orbs, you shake them a little bit and kind of get them to come back in. It fills that back up. You can hear him rattling around in there. And then you let it go. And well, not completely full, but close enough. And then look at that. That's awesome. Very simple, but yet very, very cool. So there you go. It's the Indiana Jones tomb reveal. So there you have it everyone, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull set of eight wonderful little toys released by Burger King all the way back in 2008. Now I want to give a big shout out to my buddy over on Instagram, Cole Walski, for the recommendation because of the new movie that's getting ready to come out. This is an awesome set. It's fantastic. This is great and I highly recommend it adding to your collection if you love Indiana Jones and you collect all his nostalgic memorabilia stuff. And with the new movie coming out, this is the perfect addition to add to your collection throw up on your shelf or even just to have fun and mess with thanks for watching everybody take care we'll see you again next time